inching closer and closer the time we all wait for. It's getting there. It's only a few weeks away before real action is going to happen and real reality gets to be shown. Um, NFL, they put out a uh, overview of the ceiling and the floor of the Dolphins 2024 season. And so I'm going to go over that what I saw there, what their prognostications are. Last year, they said they would go. We would go uh, eleven and six, and they nailed it. So, uh, you know, anything's possible. You, they they can be on target. They could get lucky. But I'm going to cover it and, and kind of give my two cents and what I saw was good stuff. Uh, some stuff I didn't know, and then some things I disagreed with. Uh, this is a big, 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 big season. I do think that uh, there's opportunity for next year to do some things, to get ourselves even better position, but we've got to do something uh, substantial this year uh, because at a certain point, we got to say, hey, this is not working. If we don't win a playoff game this year, we don't win a playoff game next year, uh, you know, we've got to say, hey, there's something wrong substantially here. But in the same token, we could win, do a little bit this year, then we can have some hope next year that can be even enhanced. So this is a real big season. And then I'm going to cover uh, Jalen Phillips. He showed himself uh, doing the ladder drills. And uh, I, something that I saw, clearly, when you see the video, I should put it here, I didn't, uh, but you can go find it. He looks phenomenal. I, I mean, he was doing that drill like a stud. Uh, but there's something in there I want to uh, talk about that. So that's what I'm going to go over today, guys. Uh, also, I want to give a shout out. Uh, 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 Dougley Durong was treating me like gold, dude. Uh, and he did a Richmond Web uh, podcast. I cannot believe, I feel insulted that I have, with him, more views than Richmond Web. So if you have not checked out uh, Dougley Durong with Richmond Webb, please do that. Get it higher than me. It's a shame. It was a darn good uh, podcast. I watched it twice. It deserves way more attention than that. So uh, that's that. Guys, uh, um, I'm on the count to 10K and anything you could do to help me get there. Because that is, as I said in my last podcast, that is where YouTube starts saying, hey, we're going to help you, put you out there a little bit more, and it keeps you doing what you got to do. My sponsors, they keep me in a gig as long as I do what I got to do. And if I get to 10K, YouTube will help me out, do my thing, and make them happy and keep me in a gig. So the likes, the subscribes, the comments, all that stuff you guys are doing, if you haven't done it, please do that. Uh, continue to do it, all that thing, that stuff to keep me uh, doing my gig. Okay, guys? So Jalen Phillips... They showed him working out, and this guy looks in better shape now than he did last year. He was ripped. He was huge. Uh, he, I think, sometimes these guys, when they get injured and they're out of football, all you got to do is spend almost 360 days focusing on your health. You can get in better shape and actually become a better player as long as everything around the injury heals properly and structurally you're sound, you can actually learn things about your craft, take that time away, you develop hunger, you study more because you're sitting down in, as the uh, healing process happens. This guy looked like a Greek god. I was, I don't get jealous too much. He had hair, <laughs> he's tall, and he was jacked and ripped. It was very, very, very impressive. You hear my dog in the background. My old guy is 14 years old, and he's fighting for life. Uh, so if just pray for my, my man, Rocky. Uh, I love him so much. 14 years old. So if you hear him in the background, guys, there's nothing I could do. Um, he gets carte blanche. He's the closest thing to Jesus that we got here in his house. So anyway, uh, uh, Jalen Phillips looks tremendous uh but when you watch him do the drill obviously his feet are moving like pistons they're hitting the right spots to be six six and do what this guy did in that ladder drill it is so so rare i've already talked about how much i love the guy but i gotta evaluate fairly uh, i've been injured seriously i've seen atrophy i've had a rehab from a few parts of my body i've watched Parts of my body shrivel up to nothing. 
and then have to rehab it. And if you go back, I should have put the you know images here, but you can go look. You can take my word for it and go. Ch more likely, you should check. Watch his left and right calf. That right calf is still smaller uh, by, you know, my uh, uh, just, you know, monkey self, a quarter inch. There is still, it's looking good. It's looking better than the video I did a couple months ago showing the atrophy on the calf. It looks better. It's gotten bigger. There's more definition. It's closing in on parity, but it's still off. And I don't see him no way being ready for week one. I think he's going to go on PUP just like Chubb. I'm saying week four, week six is the earliest. And because he's got to get back in it. Guys, remember, he likes playing on the left side. And when you're there, you got your two legs, your front leg, when you're in your stand-up position and the back leg, the back leg's healthy and that's your kickoff. But once you take that first step, the next step, that right leg that's damaged is where you're either using that power to bull into the tackle or the blocker in front of you, or you're using that as your plant leg to get outside. You could use that left leg to get inside, but he likes to go out outside and he likes to do the bull rush and do the combos. That leg, and then also, that's the plant leg a lot of times on run blocks when you're trying to set the edge. So that leg's got to be at parity. It's got to have time to ease its way into it to make sure because what happens is when the muscle atrophies and it's weaker, even just a little bit than the other leg, uh, all the muscle groups around it got to do the extra work. You know, the whole body is supposed to be doing this set of work, but if the one part of the body is not able to carry the burden, the rest does, and that can put issues on the rest of the body. That's why guys, when they come back, that same leg or same area gets damaged. And so you want that calf as close to parity. You want it to ease its way back in. So I don't, I think Jalen Phillips is looking phenomenal. I think this guy's going to be so hungry in great shape, but let him ease his way in. He's on his fifth year contract next year. That's going to be the year for him to launch. And I, I say the last three or four games of this season and hopefully in postseason. So he's looking great, guys. But there's still a ways to go from my eyes. Go check it out and see what you see. Watch, hit the pause button, and you'll see that one left calf is just, it's a good quarter inch bigger. Anyway, good news. Uh, still more to go, though. Uh, so... The NFL did their thing. Last year, they pegged us to be 11-6, and six, and they, they got it. Uh, this year, I'll give you the thing right off the bat. They say the floor is 9-8, and eight, ceiling is 12-5. and five. I think a lot of people are in that mode. I think that's a you know pretty general broad term where most people are like, okay, I could see that. They ended up saying we're going to go 10-7. and seven. I think 12-5 uh, and five is a little high, and there's a lot of reasons for that. And I don't think that's a bad thing. If you look at what we're doing this year, and the amount of picks we got next year and what we can do and all that stuff, uh, uh, I think 11 and 6 is our ceiling. Of course, it could be higher. It could be much higher. But you got to figure Chubb and Phillips are coming in later. we got a new defense. And that last run is going to be really hard. And there's a lot of good teams on our list so to me, I, I don't know what the Bills are going to do. I think 11 and, and, and uh, 6 could likely take the division. I don't see anybody doing better than that. It's going to be a brutal battle. I think the Patriots are going to be tougher, new coach. I think the Bills are going to be tough. I, it, as long as Aaron Rodgers there, Jets are going to be tough. And so there's going to be a battling within this division. I think it's going to be very hard to get to 12 wins. Anything could happen, guys. But so that's my take. I think it's nine and eight to a, a, a eleven and six. I think eleven and six is a good spot for us, or, or ten and seven. I think those are the most likely. Ten and seven, eleven and six. We've got to make the playoffs, and if we make the playoffs, we've got to win one game. Now um, they talked about how we got to be good teams, and that's the that's the key. They talked about last year we were one and six, and overall over McDaniel's two seasons, we're five and twelve. We won. Um, Four games against 500-plus teams in his first year and only one in year two. And to me, the injuries, the poor offensive line, concussions, there's only all kinds of stuff. But this has got to change. If this does not change, we could be looking at 9 and 8. But if it does change, hey, maybe we get to that 12 and 5. Maybe we take the division. So that's going to be a key. I didn't realize we were that low. 
Uh, and so this is an absolute key thing for us. Now, they also mentioned, you know, for people out there, uh, PFF, some people like them, don't like them. I think they're really good in certain areas, but they lack context. And one of the things they said is that our offensive line ranked 15th according to PFF. And that's their grading system. But the context is we had the fastest throwing game in the league. 15% of our plays were screens and another 30% were play actions, so nearly half our plays were past mitiga- uh, protection mitigating plays where we were supporting them. It was only 50% more than that that you're really grading them, and then you're talking about how quick we threw it. They had the easiest job in the league. Their overall true set pass protection was the worst in 14 years. They are no way 15th. So you got to take that into account. One thing I did like, Al from Three Yards Per Carry, who I, I really have such high respect for, and I, I, I would dare say I love the guy. I really do. I think he does things the right way. He's even keeled. A little fan in him. Don't screw with him on Twitter with, the, uh, uh, with his laser uh, slight saber tongue. But he's such a nice guy, guys. Uh, he is such a nice guy, and he's a true professional. He loves Brooks. I'm still not certain. There's a lot of things, but I'm slow to, to get there. But this guy had 100-plus tackles for three seasons. You got a guy who's like 6'1", 240, 250. I can't remember what he is. And he's had 100 tackles, and this guy could play uh, rush, uh, tackle, and coverage. That's a big deal, man. That's a big deal. And I'm really excited. I didn't know that. I'm excited about that. Then they had Eichenberg over. They were comparing the roster. They said Eichenberg over Brewer was a push. No, that's crazy. Uh, that was a like, I wanted to like, if I had hair, I want to grow hair just to rip it out. Uh, Eichenberg had trouble snapping. He was terrible. Brewer, he's got flaws, but this guy can snap well. He's got real strengths. Eichenberg doesn't. So it is definitely uh, not a push. It's a, a uh, um, an advantage to have Brewer over Eichenberg. But a lot of that does come from Eichenberg's poor. And I do think it's a diminishing between Connor and Brewer. Connor is a way better center than Brewer, in my opinion, aside from the snaps. But that's a big deal. Uh, the full they downgraded over X. I like X, but X is always injured. And it doesn't really matter how good you are if you're injured. He's always injured. And he struggled a lot last year when he was injured, and he was injured a lot. He's been injured a lot. Fuller had problems last year with touchdowns, but there's a lot that goes into that. And this guy's healthy. And you could work around a guy. We worked around Eli Apple, who's not good. But he was healthy. He was available. Availability is key. I think Fuller's an upgrade over X. Not a slander on X. But health is a huge, huge aspect. And he's, uh, uh, I think... I think he's able to do some things that X isn't. He's a little bit faster. I think he's a better tackler. He's more committed to throwing his body out there. X really couldn't. He understood his body. He's like, I need to be here to do this, uh, getting the pickoffs and the coverage. And like, if I throw my body out there, it's already, you know, uh, under, uh, uh, you know, a bubble wrap. I can't really commit like that. But this guy, Fuller, does. So I think that was the full. You can go back and check it out on FL.com. Uh, they said 10 and 7. I think 10 and 7 gets you maybe to the, likely to the playoffs. 10 and 7 with the Jets, if Aaron Rodgers is totally healthy and, and, and uh, uh, Allen is totally healthy, is respectable considering what we're doing, how we kind of reset and then we're waiting next year for all these picks. And I think, too, with Hill, you could trade Hill next year uh, and get some good ammo going into this draft. Or you could use uh, Hill to take one of your picks and make a major move forward and get something special. There's a lot of opportunity for us next year. So 10 and 7 would be highly, yeah, as long as we get to the postseason and we win a postseason game, I think that would be amazing. Uh, uh, 11 and 6 would be tremendous given all the stuff that we're doing in the transition. I mean, losing Van Ginkle, Hunt, Connor and Wilkins, and then you still get to 10 and 7 or 11 and 6, tremendous. Anything better than 11 and 6 is like dream theater. So, anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, appreciate all you guys do. Get ready. Some real good stuff's coming. Uh, I'm going to be working hard. I'm feeling good. I keep working out, keep taking walks through the mountains with my family, and I think this is going to be my best season ever for the best uh, viewers ever and best supporters. You guys are so nice. I'll tell you a little secret. My wife, uh, she watched. 
the Dudley Do Wrong. She forced me to watch the Dudley Do Dudley Do Wrong thing. And she was going through the the comments. She's like, "Wow, people saying that." She was so proud. So, guys, I appreciate that. She was so happy, and she's happy. And I'm happy. You know how it uh, goes. So, you guys are absolutely the best. Conan tells me that every day. So, uh, uh, be well, go Fins. Curtis out. Start building your own online sports book today by getting signed up with acebread.com service that allow you to book action on sports from all around the world.